I'm determined to actually upload these videos this year, so I'm doing it early. This is what I got my kids for Christmas. And I'm going to do Wyatt's first. He's my four and a half year old. And we tried to limit it to five items from us. And then Santa brings them usually a shared gift. And then they have their stockings. Um, and mostly that's because they get gifts from a lot of other people. They have two sets of grandparents. Um, like four or five different aunts and uncles that send them things. Uh, friends, etc. And so in order to kind of keep down... The amount of stuff we try to make sure we don't go too overboard on our end so anyway here is what we got we got them each like some really cool toy that we know they've wanted we got them something to build something to code something to play and something to read and you might be able to reformat that so it rhymes i don't know but that's what we got them so the first thing for wyatt i'm really excited about this game it's called chasing fireflies the game of shine and seek Fireflies light up in the dark. There's a little jar in there. And um, kids search up and down for the spark. Catch all five. Put them in your jar. Watch them glitter like stars. Um, I think if I remember correctly, whoever collects their fireflies, the fireflies first maybe wins. I don't remember, but I think it's a lot of fun. Let's see, there's 10 fireflies, green and blue, two mason jars. Yeah, I think maybe it's whoever collects all of their fireflies first wins. I just think it looks like a lot of fun. And um, you can play it year-round, inside or out. So that's his game. And then for his um, something to read, we got him this set. Why is that kid that is constantly asking questions? Why? How? Why? How? So these are perfect for him. They're the National Geographic Kids. Little Kids First Big Book of Why and Little Kids First Big Book of How. So when he asks, you know, how does ice melt? Do dinosaurs have ears? Um, why does a water turn to ice? All of those questions. I think these are really age-appropriate um, answers. I love the layout of the National Geographic books and I think he's really going to like these and it's something that we don't have. So I think it's going to fill many needs and it's just, it's perfect for him and kind of his personality. So we got that as a set for him. And the next thing we got him his own Lego set. Ava's had Lego sets for a while and he has just now started to kind of steal hers and there's been some conflict. So um, just recently we passed, she had a junior set just for ages four to seven. And so we just passed that down to him. He's doing really well with it and he loves having his own set. So we wanted to get him his own brand new first set of Legos. Um, and Ava has a, what is it? A Batgirl um, Lego set that has like a, some kind of flying thing like this. And he always tries to take it. So, um, and she gets very upset. So we picked out this one, the Joker Batcave Attack. It is for ages four to seven. I want to say we got it for about $16. And that's what he'll be able to build. And it's just an easier build for kids that are new to Lego. So he's going to be really excited about that because it's his very own. And it's his first set that is just for him. All right, the next is something to code. I have been stalking this since I heard it was coming out. Um, I wanted to get it for him for his birthday in April, but it wasn't out yet. So he, Wyatt loves puppies and dogs, um, loves them. And so there were three different animals for this coding critters, but we chose the dog. And it is from Learning Resources. And it has like the little kind of playground there. And then I think it's the mom and the baby. And a storybook for ages four and up and it just helps um, teach them different um, skills and concepts about coding through play so I think he's gonna have a lot of fun with that I think Ava will like this too actually but um, that is that and then his big gift that I know he would pick out if he were to go into the store is this Paw Patrol Mighty Pups Super Paws Mighty Jet 
It's way too big. I'm already kind of having anxiety about it. Um, but he's going to love it. So transforms to a command center. Launches discs. It has a special version of Ryder. Can launch a mini jet. Oh my, oh my. So yeah, he's going to love that. And yeah, we bought this. I want to say most of the stuff we've bought on some kind of sale or, or discount. So I want to say we paid less than 50 for this, maybe 40 ish. I think it maybe retails for 60, 59.99, but um, we've had this for a few months. So anyway, so that's what we're getting Wyatt. And then Santa usually brings a combined gift for both the kids. And this year, he's bringing them each an ornament, he told us, but I can't show those to you yet because I don't know which he's going to get them. But he's also replacing, um, we just got rid of our Green Toys garbage truck and our Green Toys um, school bus, just because the kids were getting a little bit old for the level of play they could get out of it. So Santa is going to replace those with the Playmobil um, recycling truck and... Playmobil school bus and these were less than $20 each and usually Santa leaves um, the gifts that are for the two of them together to share um, and they're just unwrapped under our tree so that is what he is getting from Santa plus stocking stuffers which I will do in another video um, but that is everything that Wyatt is getting for Christmas this year anything I can link below I will and if you have any questions, just let me know.